everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you my last haul from Planners Anonymous. So as I'm aware, the sale from Planners Anonymous is over or it will be over shortly. So I did look yesterday, they still had it on, but I'm pretty sure Michael and Sammy had said that the sale was going to be done this week. So just to let you guys know, this is my last haul. This one seemed to come like take forever because I ordered this a while ago. Um, and this is the Christmas at home bag for a melody. Okay. That's why it's in a bag. Um, and I'll just kind of explain to you what I got, why I got these things. So, um, yeah, the planner, like the planner itself, the cover came in this bag and I just opened everything to make it easy and then put everything in here. So um, I ordered two sets of rings. I realized, oh, and this is part of my de-stashing the basement. I'm a little frustrated. I ended up finding one silver ring and that's pretty much all I needed um, because I just needed it to fit my new um, celebration melody. And anyway, I ended up ordering an extra set. So I've got two silver rings extra now. Um, I'm not sure if these will fit in the Franklin compact binders because they're a different like setup. I think, I don't know. I haven't tried and I'm, I'm a little scared to try. I don't want to like actually do that. These are meant for the melodies. I'll keep them for the melodies. The good thing is, is that um, now I don't know if the ring mechanism will change when the A5 melody comes out by Planners Anonymous. They're usually different. I can't remember if they said they were changing. I have to find out. But anyway, the thing with them is, is that if there is ever a new melody released, they don't come with rings anyway. So I have extras on hand just in case. So currently what I did in my celebration melody, which is my wellness planner, I put my gold rings. I had two extra sets of gold rings. One came with my rainbow melody and then one came with my fierce melody and neither of those carry rings right now because they have booklets. I'm using the traveler's notebook feature with the, of the planner. So I've got two sets of gold, two sets of silver, um, and then that extra set of silver I found can go into my wellness planner and then I'll have like the two gold, two silver that are extra. So it works out because I'm, I'm pretty sure there'll be uh, planners I'll want to buy in the future. Okay, so I'm going to put those right in my drawer so I know where they are. Everything that's Christmas related I put in the planner and everything that is not Christmas related I left out. So the only two things other than the rings that I got that weren't Christmas related were the Under the Stars things. So Under the Stars is probably hands down besides for Dream Chaser, my favorite planner and my favorite kit um, because they're purple and black. I love those two color combinations together. Um, I did get the little sticky note. The tall notepad was all sold out. So I got an extra one of these. I do have one in my current melody, but um, I thought, you know, you always run out of these and they're so cute. And then I also got a new set of dividers because as I had previously mentioned in another video, um, I had labeled my dividers and these are just made out of cardstock. And when I pulled my labels off, they ripped the tabs. So I wanted to get a new pack. So I'm going to be putting these in my extra bag. Um, I have like a, a bag to the side just for like stuff like this. So I'll keep those separate. And then as for the Christmas stuff, and this is my plan. So I had recently released a video. Um, it actually hasn't been released yet. I will share that soon. I'm not sure if it'll be out before this video or after. I'm planning on editing, editing it today, actually. So hopefully that one will be out. I don't know if I'll finish it today. I'll try. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I have really, like, I have four melodies in use. My Rainbow Melody has, like, my, my wellness, or not my wellness, but my Glad journal and just some journaling stuff with baby stuff in there. And then... Um, my fierce melody is my commonplace planner, like my commonplace not planner, commonplace notebook. So it has like, um, information from videos I've watched and kind of like my inspiration book for getting blog ideas, stuff like that. Um, and then my wellness planner is my celebration one from Go Wild. And then I also have... I also have my Under the Stars melody, which hasn't really been used. So I'd have to say the Rainbow Melody and the Under the Stars are kind of just like sitting there for fun. I don't know. I, I have to, like the, the Rainbow Melody, I can fill out all of those notebooks. I just haven't had time um, and I haven't prioritized that at all. But I want to because there's this one little baby book that it's kind of like does it by months. And I want to put little pictures of my son in there and then put that in his like baby. Like I never even bought him a baby book. Oh my goodness. I never even did. But I want to put that in his little memory box for when he gets older because I think that would be so cute. Um, 
So anyway, so when Christmas rolls around, my plan was, because I also have Deck the Halls, which is another Christmas melody. So if I'm using, like, my two main planners are going to be my common book, like my reading book, um, commonplace book, and my wellness planner. So then for Christmas, I'll have one for wellness and one for my commonplace book. So it works. Um, so I'm going to open it up and just kind of share, I'll share the planner first. Or will I? Yes, let's do that because I've already opened it and shared it. Okay, so this is the melody. I've talked about these before, you guys. Um, it's a B6 size. They are non-leather. They call them vegan leather, which is a term I do not agree with. I hate that term. Um, it has the snap closure and it is magnetic. Okay, it has a spine with PA on the bottom and it's got these two elastic pen loops. So you can put charms on those. And the back has a pocket um, that you can add stuff to. And now the enclosure is on an elastic, a stretchy elastic. It's actually red. Um, and that allows your planner to grow as you need it to. So when you open it up, you've got these pockets inside. I kind of love the black and red. I just, I don't know what it is with like black when it comes to a color. It's just so gorgeous. So you've got the plain red pocket down at the bottom, like the flat one. And then you've got these diagonal pockets going up the side. And the checkered background, um, checkered background, which I love. I think it's called Buffalo Plaid. I don't know. And then this poinsettia, the books down at the bottom. On the other side, it's got room for a tall notepad. Um, it's got a pen loop here and then three card slots. And then it has a pocket here and a pocket here. So what you can do with that is on this side, you can slip in um a lot of people like you could either use a happy planner mini so basically this planner is convertible it fits a happy planner mini personal wide personal b6 um also traveler's notebooks because you can put them on the strings you can add the rings and turn it into a binder or you can simply put a notebook back here so what a lot of people will do is they'll just pop something on um discs like a like a happy planner but it doesn't have to be a happy planner and they'll have a happy planner back cover so it says stay sturdy and they'll pop it into here and then this is the cover of their like disc planner um the other thing you can do is put a coiled notebook back here if you have a b6 size or um, a bound book too i have one of those little ones so you can do that um I'm probably, well, depending on if I set this up for commonplace book or which I'll use the strings, or if it's my wellness planner, it will be rings because I have all my inserts printed out on and hole punch for rings. So yeah, so that's the planner and it's so cute. Um, these two are going to make such a good addition. So I've got my deck, the halls, and now this one. So they'll be my two Christmas planners and they'll just look so good together because I've got those. And then usually for Christmas, I'll get, go into like a black binder or my red binder and potentially even my green binder. So right now I've got a green Olivia Franklin binder and that one I use for summer, but it could be used for winter. I never really thought about it. I used my red one last winter. Okay, so that's it for the planner cover itself. And then for the goodies inside, um, I got two of these. So these actually came with Deck the Halls and I do have one, but I love the concept so much. So if I had notes or whatever to take, you can just pull these off and they're, um, the holes are on the left instead of like it being a, a notepad on the top. So they tear off on the left. You can put the date here and then you can write down notes or journaling, whatever. Okay. I also got dividers for my at home melody, the Christmas at home. Because just in case, I, I wasn't sure if I'd use them, but I wanted to get them. They were on sale. Um, I also got the tall deck at the hall, or sorry, Christmas at home notepad. So that's Christmas at home. And then I got two of these little booklets. So this is Christmas countdown booklets. Um, and then each day in here, I'm not sure when it starts. Let's open one and see when it starts. So these are passport stickers, um, like made a gingerbread house, started a new tradition. And then this little booklet, Christmas countdown booklet. So it starts with a blank page. I like that it's grid. It starts at the 24th. So I guess the base, the 1st of December. And you can put how you're feeling. And then I guess you put the date in here. I think it was, um, was it Bess from Lights Planner Action that made stickers to go along with a lot of this Christmas stuff. Okay, and then it's like that every day. So you can write down a little journaling thing. You can write down like, or put a picture even. That might be a good idea. Like a journal, like a picture with like a little journaling prompt or something. 
And then the last day is Christmas Day, and then you have like a couple of blank pages here. So you can use it as a little memory book, um, all sorts of things. So I'll put that back. Okay, and then the very last thing I got was a tiny notepad. Whoops. <laughs> and um, I think I have one. I think I have one in my Deck the Halls because I didn't have the Deck the Halls tiny notepad when I bought that one. Um, so this is um, Christmas at home, but it's cute because it looks like a gift tag. <laughs> um, yeah, so I love that. It looks like it looks very, not very colorful compared to like the dividers. I just realized that. It's very toned down. I think both of them are. Anyway, so that is it for my little haul here. And that is the last official haul that I have from Planners Anonymous um, to kind of catch up from the sale items. Because um, when I first found Planners Anonymous, it was only like, I say like two years ago, but then I, I didn't, I really wanted the note to self melody because it looked like, kind of looked like um, tropical because with all the flowers in it and I fell in love with that planner and then uh, I saw how much it was didn't want to pay for it at the time and now I've come back to planners anonymous and now I'm kind of getting into all the goodies but yet um, that planner is all gone so that was a little sad um, but I'm sure there'll be lots of good things in the future so that'll be good so anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching this quick little haul. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new, please subscribe, click on that bell button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, friends.